everyone this is Manny Lord of Insanity and well Star Wars came out the trailer now I want uh, I, I want to do like a frame by frame breakdown and reaction to this trailer because and this is a lot inside of it yes I'm sorry you can't see my face um, I don't have a really good equipment yet but Trust me, I'll, I'm working on it. Today's going to be really, really interesting. Okay. So first, the uh, nice Lucas phone comes out and you hear panting. Obviously, that's his way. There's nothing left here. Now here, before this talking, there's already some speculation that you can break down. She is sitting here on a desert planet, okay? She's panting, so she's probably been running for a little bit, and she's probably taking a break, break right here. Because you don't just pant from standing there. She was probably running from something, and then she's trying to rest up. Now, uh, this planet, there's... Uh, I don't think I have heard options that this could be a new planet, but that's like the least likely of the options. The two options that this could planet could be is probably Jakku, where they found Rey, or what I think is the most likely and what I would love it to be, Tatooine. Uh, this movie is supposed to bring everything together, right? So just imagine it go uh, ending up being Tatooine. Where Luke Skywalker was, uh, Luke Skywalker was raised, where Anakin came from, where it all, the planet where it all started. Imagine this being the place where it ends, like not just, like in a, not just being in the final movie, but just imagine where all the final stuff happens, where everything ends. Imagine it being on Tatooine. That would be an amazing sight. That would be. I think that would be great and awesome, and I would love that, love it to be that. If it's Jakku, I understand, and that would still be pretty cool, because that's where Ray was found. That's where it started for her. But either way, I it, either one would be awesome. But I think uh, it's most likely Tatooine, and well, that I think that would be a much better and much cooler option in my opinion. End it where it started. Amazing. Next up, uh, as she's calming down and getting her composure, we hear Luke say, we pass on all we know. Now here is where I got a little doubtful in this. I thought they were going to like uh, double down. Well, uh, Ray's going to be overly powered, but you know what? I don't really mind that too much. I just want it to be a good story at this point. But I thought, man, uh, they're going to make Ray even more powerful now. Because look, it's Luke Skywalker. He's obviously Luke's gonna be in this as a Force ghost, and well, yeah, it's just we passed that on. We know. A thousand generations. That was Luke Skywalker's lights, not Luke Skywalker's and Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. That's the Skywalker lightsaber. She took it with her. She, and as you can see, she was able to put it back together. I I see some people complain that she didn't get her own lightsaber. But considering this is the conclusion of the saga, I think that having that lightsaber like that is really important for this movie. And I find it amazing. I love it. I love it. And as Luke says, a thousand generations of Jedi passed down to her. And I don't really like that, but whatever. As long as it's a good story, I don't see how she got a thousand generations of a thousand generations of, of lessons passed down to her, right? I don't see, see how she only got like a few, well, a couple days, three, four days most of training. Yeah, that's 
a bit much for me. Unless she's been spending all this time training with Luke. And it's some sort of fan theory that I've heard where she's able to uh, gain information from other people. Like almost instantaneously about the Force. Mm, mm -hmm. I can kind of mm -hmm. see that I guess. But I don't know. Uh, maybe this is years later. Maybe she gets some training along that time. And as you can hear, I started to hear. I thought this was just a TIE fighter because that is, but it is, it is a type of TIE. You hear a TIE in a distance. That's probably why she drew the lightsaber. But this is your fight. Every generation has a legend. And yeah, I think that's just cool. Right here, that's a tie interceptor. She and she gets ready to run, and she stops. I don't think she knew right away who was in there. Okay, so she started to run, but then she hesitates. She, I think she saw it as just another soldier, another stormtrooper. But and right here. These gloves, uh, this outfit, this is clearly, I believe, a lot. This is clearly supposed to be Kylo Ren. If it's not Kylo Ren, I will be surprised. Maybe it's a knight, one of the Knights of Ren. There's, um, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be in this movie. But whoever this is, Ray Sense is it, and I'm pretty sure this is Kylo Ren. She may have been fighting, she may have been fighting, uh, Knights of Ren for a while. And then she finally sees Kylo Ren again, and that's why she hesitates. Or she sees that here's the TIE fighter, the TIE interceptor. She gets ready to run, but then senses another Force user, and it's really a Knight of Ren. So, and it catches her off guard, and that's why she hesitates. She looks back, which is why she senses something. That's why I say I don't think she knew uh, who that was at first. I don't think she knew was she planning on meeting someone at first. This is something she wasn't expecting at all. But as soon as she... There she, there she was, flipping over the TIE fight, uh, Interceptor. That was just an amazing shot. Yes, she's overpowered. I understand it. She's a Mary Sue. I don't really care anymore. Uh, I just want a good Star Wars movie. Hopefully they'll do that. She's already over. She's already overpowered. Best you can hope for is this. Should, all the other characters are good and balanced. Here. I don't know what this is, but there's a ship that flies by, and then this is badass. Kylo Ren just plows through, and another guy, not, he, he doesn't just punch it. the crossblade of lightsaber, he puts it to use here as he uses the crossblade to stab through the man, pick him up, and throw him down, and there he is along stormtroopers on a forest type planet. There's a lot of red, red lightsaber, red lasers, and the red uh, tinted sky. Everything is red here. And he stabbed someone who was holding a melee weapon. Here's Kylo Ren. Like I said, there's a lot going on in such short fashion. Kylo Ren is over here repairing his helmet with what a lot of people, what is theorized and believed to be Kaiba Crystal. Now, uh, I don't know, mate, I... I used to think he must have had like lots of these, but he's going back, building, uh, building the mask. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get.
closer to Vader. Snoke is gone. So he's trying to be become Vader. I believe. And then there's a whole thing. Theory of, he's using Kyba crystal. Red Kyba crystals. And the whole theory is to have a more force sensitive connection to the mask. And maybe that will also help. The force can that will help him be in tune with Darth Vader and his mind. She would like to help. All right, here's Finn and Poe. Uh, this looks like the this looks like another part of the desert planet that Ray was on, and it's a bit rocky. But it could also be the other planet that I do not know. It's too dark to see. It could also be that planet because there were rocks there as well. It could have been Poe and Finn landing there trying to uh, get something. And as you can see, Finn right here. I just now noticed uh, he's holding Ray's staff. He is holding Ray's staff, and I, so uh, there's that. Don't know what that adds to it, but I, yeah, he's holding Ray's staff. <laughs> and here's BB-8, and then another new droid. Uh, the name's been confirmed. I forgot what the name is. I think it's like Dio or something, but it's another droid, party to sell toys. He's cute as supposed to be cute, like BB-8. Supposed to be his little friend. Don't know uh, what his part of the story is. And then... <laughs> Lando Calrissian. He is back. He's flying the Millennium Falcon now. Uh, now that Han's dead, it's basically his again. He's, he's probably flying it. It's his baby. He lost it to Han Solo and now he has it back. He's probably sad that Han's dead, but he's flying it. And there's Chewie with them in the cockpit. This, I don't, they're going, they're in hyperspace right now. He's laughing. He's laughing while they're in hyperspace. So, uh, it might have been a joke as they're flying into danger. It might have been, he's laughing because as they escaped something. Who knows what it is. But, he's laughing. I, uh, I kind of think they may have been running away and he's just laughing at the thrill of danger again. Which he hasn't had in a while. <laughs> oh, wait, they come out of hyperspace. Maybe he's laughing because he's they're flying into danger. And this is the saga comes to an end. And here's the thing: I did kind of would like a sequel trilogy. I, I was one of the people who really kind of wanted a sequel trilogy, and I do wish the saga would end here. The reason for that is because there was the original trilogy. And then they wanted to do the prequel, so they did a prequel, and it's supposed to be tri they did a trilogy. And then obviously, the sequels, you have to do it as a trilogy at this point, because that's what Star Wars is known as. Now, when it comes to the Skywalker Saga, I don't want anything else after this or before this. I want them to try to expand onward. The reason this specific number of trilogies is because it's three eras, three trilogies. It's a trilogy of trilogies. That's kind of why I like this. And then here's this. This could be from uh, probably a pod racing area. Tatooine. But this is why one another reason why it could be Tatooine. Look, there's looks like pod, uh, somewhere where the pod race. You remember from episode one? It's supposed to be bringing everything full circle. Pod racing was a big part of that movie. I don't think they're pod racing here, but there's obviously a fight. right here. Uh, they're being chased by stormtroopers there's c-3po we've seen in a photo that he picks up a gun and then there's finn and poe so uh those rocks that they were on is probably more likely going to be the same one that uh ray was on they may have been split up they may have been attacked they got split up ray's running and she's catching her breath and they're being chased uh, by stormtroopers and ray ends up seeing either the night of ren for the first time or she senses Kylo Ren again. One of those causes her to hesitate. That's just what I'm putting putting together. And then there's 
that looks like an A wing falling down. An or original trilogy. And that, a metal caressed by wrinkly old hands and fingers. I uh, believe it to be Princess Leia's or General Leia's hands ho holding the medal. And these medals are like the same ones that Han and Luke were giving, given uh, in the original trilogy after episode 4. And it, uh, there is a bit of a belief it may be Luke's medal. And uh, the metal may have some sort of connection, but I don't know what it might be at all. Uh, it could be Luke's metal from episode 4, and it may have some important role, or just maybe a souvenir for Princess Leia to hold after Luke's death, which could be that as well. And here is Leia being hugged by Rey Always be with as she starts to cry. The music industrator is amazing. And you hear... We hear Luke say, we will always be with you. We will always be with you. There's a lot going on in this trailer. There's a lot to break apart. This really could be... This is Luke Skywalker's voice again and talking to Rey. Most likely as a force ghost. And here these people are. Finn and Poe are wearing the same clothes as whenever they were uh, on Tatooine. But now there's a lot of grass. Which is interesting. Uh, they, it might be, they may not have had time to change whenever they change planets. Or this may be a different part of Tatooine that we have yet to see where there's actual plant life. But I doubt it. I don't think it's Tatooine. This part is Tatooine at least. I think the other part was Tatooine. And in this shot you see the Wookiee, uh, Chewbacca, holding a crossbow. And the uh, released teaser for th uh, this movie, you see C-3PO holding that crossbow. It's not just a gun. He is holding a gun, but it's not just a gun. If you look at the poster, it's Chewbacca's crossbow. What if at some point the Chewbacca goes down and C-3PO picks up the crossbow and goes a little badass with it for a bit? Uh, like the he actually does something for once. That would be amazing. I don't see R2-D2, which is a little sad. I don't think I see he. I hope he's in this movie, but I don't see him anywhere. He may be with Princess Leia. But... Here is the other side. This is see the grass. The main reason why I think this is another planet, that is the Death Star. I didn't know what that was at first. I didn't want to confirm or disconfirm. It could be anything. It's Star Wars, but apparently that is a Death Star. Now, I heard a I heard people speculate it could be a new Death Star that we haven't seen in the movies yet. But no, I think this is not a new Death Star. I think this is the same Death Star from the original trilogies. So it's either the Second one or the first one? It could be the one that was about over Yamin, or it could be the one over the forest moon of Endor. Either one is very, very possible. The impact from the deaths are hitting the planet, as you can see, decimated the plant life around it. And the dark side, uh, the dark side of the forest may also contribute to that. It's kind of hard to figure out which planet it is though in which deaths are because both planets were a bit foresty both planets were green i think it may have may be the first death star over yavin 4 that's what i think i think uh the force mode of indoor is a lot more foresty than this and i don't know if jj would want to bring back the ewoks one of the more hated things about the original trilogy No one's ever really gone. And so we may be seeing more than just Luke. Anakin may appear as a Force Ghost. And we may see Obi-Wan. We may see lots of different Force Ghosts. Or we may not. But either way, no one is ever really gone. Which is a true message. 
Pe everything from the original trilogy into prequels is going to come back in this movie. This is going to wrap everything up and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> that is Emperor Palpatine. Okay? There's no this one is not a speculation at all. This one was basically confirmed because right after this trailer and uh the guy who plays Emperor Palpatine came out on stage. He is back. I'm not sure if he's alive, but he is back. This could be a hologram, or this could be a clone, or this could be ju uh, just a, a back round, uh, was a flashback. This could be anything, but we will see Emperor Palpatine again. It's not just the old good that's coming back. The bad from the past is coming back. Emperor Palpatine was the big baddie in the prequels, the one behind the scenes. And he was the one behind the scenes, the big baddie, in the original trilogy. He's going to appear in the... So, something about him, whenever you're wrapping everything up, is going to appear in this movie. Now, the blue... I liked. There were, the last one was red. Now, the the when it was red, now it's blue. I think that's really smart by JJ. I wish they would have all kept it yellow. I understand why you wanted it red, but yeah, I, I this is smart by JJ to make. It. Now the rise of Skywalker. Another reason why it's probably Tatooine. And why it's probably Luke's medal. But I don't know. I don't know why the name's not doing it for me. I understand why they did it. I understand the meaning behind it. I understand why and everything. I can understand it. I just, I don't know. I just don't like the way the title is. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I don't know. And that's just my little br quick breakdown. Uh, I can't wait for more Star Wars. This is getting me excited. I have to see this in theaters. Yes, I didn't go watch uh, Solo in theaters. I did end up seeing it, and Solo was actually pretty good. I'm going to have to watch this in theaters, okay? As a big Star Wars fan, I don't care what Disney has done in the past, what how they have attacked the fans. This is the end of the Skywalker saga. I have to see this. <laughs> I have to. And hopefully they'll be able to make uh, more the more movies, spin-offs, or maybe uh, the Old Republic, just more movies.